What is up guys, C Money here. Welcome back to another pack opening video. Today I am so, so, so excited to get into this video today because we have got a sealed booster box of Rebellious Clash from Japan, the Japanese new set uh, that is going to be coming to America. At least a lot of these cards are going to be incorporated. That mixed with, I think, VMAX Rising was the other set in Japan. They do things a little different over there. We have never done a Japanese anything on this channel. So I'm pretty excited about this. Japanese cards usually aren't my thing, but uh, I'm really excited about this next set coming out. So I figured, why not? Let's uh, take a peek at what's coming in about a month, half a month, half a month, actually. So uh, let's take a peek and uh, yeah, I figured we'd do a Japanese box. Figured it'd be fun for the channel, figured it'd be something you guys would enjoy to get a sneak peek of what is coming soon to uh, our uh, Rebel Clash here in May. So let's jump right into it, shall we? I said, we have never done one of these on the channel before. Very cool box. Um, these are different. If you've never seen Japanese boxes, um, they're not as big, I don't think, and the packs don't have as many cards, and you're not guaranteed a rare. So those are some things to keep in mind. You're not even guaranteed a rare in these or anything like that. Um, let me get my trash can that I always forget to set out. But, uh, so yeah, this will be interesting, but they have different, uh, different number of cards for sure. Um, I have no idea how to properly open this. Let's just rip into it, shall we? Um, yeah, so there we go. Oh man, maybe it is enough. It's the same amount of packs. Um, these remind me of Dollar Tree packs. They really do. Um, I'm not sure. It looks like five cards in each. Yeah, it's so like literally half the cards. It may be the same amount of packs, though. It looks like it may be. But uh, anyway, let's jump into it. I did watch uh, Real Breaking Nate do some of these. So I think I know the trick. Um, I think it's like the second from the back or something. So like this one you put in the back, maybe. So uh, anyway, let's try this. We got a Wingle, an Electrode, um, the Fish Thing, Beware. Ooh, Holographic Galarian Weezing. Very cool. So, uh, like I said, some of these are going to be, or I think most of these are going to be in our next English set, Rebel Clash. Um, so, uh, that's pretty exciting. Uh, pack art is all the same in all these. Like I said, it's only five cards, so about half the cards. Oh my gosh, how do you... There's like one spot, I think, on these where you can rip into it. Holy crap. There we go. There's the spot. They make these tougher to get into than American packs, I'll say that. Um, I think there's one card. Uh, you can get the uh, Golden Shiny Galarian Berserker um, in here. I think that's one of the big chase cards. Ooh, another Beware. Um, that's one of the chase cards. And then there's a, I think it's called like Boss's Orders or something like that. Um, it's got Giovanni on it. And I think currently it's worth like a butt ton of money if it's like the full art or the hyper rare i'm pretty sure um these packs are really hard to get into guys i've never done japanese packs these are very hard to get into um coughing uh hatterene or whatever um yeah so it's it's very interesting um said so i've never done these before it's kind of weird that you're not guaranteed a rare and just how little um like how few cards there are it's very different the Japanese cards have never really been my thing, but I figured taking a set, a peek at the new set would be pretty fun. Um, there is a VMAX Toxtricity in here that looks incredible. Uh, holographic Flapple. Um, as you can see on the pack art, like that's kind of the big VMAX card, I think, in this set. I said there is a Golden Galarian Berserker that happens to be shiny. Um, I'm not sure if that's coming to the English set or not. In VMAX Rising, it was a shiny golden frost moth. I'm not sure if either of those are coming. Ooh, nice hair cross card. Are coming to the English set or not. A ball of some kind. Sun, something. That's weird. Um, but those are like the big chase cards. And then the Giovanni card, like I said, I think I heard them say it's called like Boss's Orders or something like that. Um, it's a new card. I do believe there's the spot right there where you can rip it down but i think the full art and uh hyper rare are going to be like ridiculously expensive full art trainer card and it's got giovanni on it so i think that's the big one um oh copperaja v max that is sick so we get the big uh the other big v max out of here 
um, that's on this card is actually on the uh, cover of the uh, what's it called the ETBs in English. So that's super cool. So we do get the Copperaja V Max out of this very cool card. I really really like that artwork. Kind of zoom in here and get a closer look at it. Um, yeah, that looks sweet. I'm a big fan of that. Japanese cards are interesting on the back. Like, just so we're not seeing our standard English one. But that looks super cool. Um, we'll gladly take that. Like I said, I'm not sure what these are worth. I'll try to... If the prices aren't on the video in this one, I'm sorry. I need to look and see. I have no idea where to look for Japanese prices, if I'm being completely honest. I don't know if TCG Player has them or not. I usually get my prices from TCG Player um, when I put the prices. Um... And Japanese cards are worth less here in America. Um, so I'm honestly not entirely sure where to find those prices. But I will do some looking and see. Um, if it gets to be too much or anything like that, then uh, there may just not be prices. Uh, but honestly, prices weren't the main thing for this video anyway. I, was, I, was, I thought it'd be fun to take a look at the new set. I thought it'd be fun for you guys. I thought it'd be an interesting video. Um, it's a, I'm really excited about Rebel Clash, um, and I'm really excited, ooh, Holographic Stone Journer, and I'm really excited for the set after Rebel Clash, because I think we're finally getting our first Charizard, uh, for the Sword and Shield cards. I think they're finally giving us our first Charizard VMAX, um, I'm sure, I don't know if it's gonna be gold or anything like that, but I know we're getting a Charizard VMAX, um, I imagine that'll be the big chase card after Rebel Clash. I'd like them to give us a golden Charizard and a golden shiny Charizard. I think that would be sick. I don't know. I'm sure we will at some point. Like they're, they'll, obviously they've got a few years of these sets. These cards are really hard to open, guys. Like these packs are ridiculously hard to open. Um, so I'm really excited for the set after Rebel Clash, but Rebel Clash looks so cool. I really want, like, there's a Dragapult in here, and Dragapult is one of my absolute favorite. Toxtricity V, look at that! We got the Toxtricity V Max, the card that is on all the packs. Let's go, bro. What luck is that? We get a Copperaja V Max and a Toxtricity V Max back to back, bro. Check that out. The two bros hanging out over here. That's awesome. That's got to be some good luck for the box. Considering you're not even guaranteed rares and packs, that's pretty sick. Um, I said, so that probably takes out our hope of the Dragapult. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice a little bit. Uh, there's a Dragapult VMAX that I really want. Um, I'm sure it'll be hyper rare um, in English. It may be hyper rare in this too. I'm honestly not sure. Ooh, very cool Magmortar card. That right there is the card we want, but we want it in full art or hyper rare. This is a holographic, um, I think it's called Boss's Orders. You see the Giovanni on it. Um, this is the card we want in uh, either hyper rare or full art um, in this set. But I really want a Dragapult. Um, <clears throat> I said, I'm not sure what the chances are of us pulling one now that we've pulled two VMAXs. But there's a Dragapult VMAX that looks absolutely incredible. Maybe we get the Dragapult V at least. That's very cool scissor art. Very, very cool scissor art. Maybe we can at least get the Dragapult V. Um, I think there's a Ninetales V. And y'all know how much I love Ninetales. Um, favorite Pokemon. Specifically Alola Ninetales. But there's a regular Ninetales V. I do love regular Ninetales as well. Um, but lots of cool cards going on in this. Is that I think it's gonna be these combined with the V Max Rising uh, that you saw probably saw several creators opening up. I did not get in on the V Max Rising train, uh, but I really like the Rebel Clash. So yeah, here we are. I hope you guys are enjoying this. If you are enjoying this, please leave a like button. If you are new here, uh, my name's Colin. I also go by C Money. I'm opening up cards for you guys Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday every single week. Um, a lot of the times I am trying to do, that's a cool, uh, Amanda buzz shout out to my HBL team. Um, I am trying to do, uh, extra videos here and there, especially with the quarantine stuff and all that going on. I'm trying to pump out some extra videos for you guys here and there as well, while also trying to maintain a uh, stock on stuff to do videos for you guys. Cause you can't really go out to get anything. I'm having to order all my stuff now, which is, uh, taking some getting used to. 
Um, we do have something here. Magmortar. Ooh, Holographic Luxray. That's a very cool card. We will take that for sure. Um, but yeah, I, I would love for you guys to subscribe to the channel. If you are new, um, I'm trying to do really cool stuff for you guys. I thought this would be awesome. Um, we've got so much stuff, man. We've got, uh, I said we're sub Pokemon Mini Mart has been hooking us up. Um, I've got Burning Shadows box. I've got two Sword and Shield boxes for us to, to kind of get us through to Rebel Clash. Um, I've got one of the new, I'm sure y'all have seen the big, uh, the Espeon Deoxys box, the Tag Team Powers collections that some people are opening. I've got that coming. Um, that box is gorgeous. We've got so much. Ooh, uh, what's this thing's name? Phalanx V. Very cool card. We will take that. We'll sleeve that up. Uh, I'm really excited for the set, guys, for this to come out in English. It does come out May 1st. Um, so just so y'all know, when Verbal Clash does come out, I know I'm getting sidetracked. If you are new, I would love for you to subscribe and join this community. Um, it would mean a lot to me. Um, as far as when Rebel Clash does come out, um, we've got a lot of stuff. We've got two full booster boxes. Um, if you're new here, uh, what I, oh, Toxtricity V, let's go. So we get the V Max and the regular Toxtricity V. That's very cool. I will gladly take that right there. I was trying to make sure it was zoomed all the way out. Very cool card. Very cool V card. I love Toxtricity, man. Such a cool new mon. Uh, but if you are new here, we when a new set comes out, I like to open up an entire booster box the week it comes out. Um, I, I am ordering those. Um, I probably won't get them on release day because um, they can't ship until they're officially released. Um, but... I've and just with all the Corona stuff going on, I'm not sure, you know, it's very up in the air what I'll be able to get on day one, but I do open up an entire booster box of the new set the week it comes out. So we've got an entire booster box to open at once, uh, an ETB, uh, an elite trainer box for sure. And then I will start a second box of the new set. So right off the bat, I already have pre-ordered two entire booster boxes and an elite trainer box. Uh, for the channel once Rebel Clash comes out. That's very similar to what we did with Sword and Shield. Um, we did both the Zamazenta and Zacian ETBs, and then we opened up a full booster box of Sword and Shield. So that's kind of what I like to do when new sets come out. Um, so look forward to that. We're going to be hitting the set hard. Like I said, I'm very excited for it. It's such a cool set that I'm just, I'm really pumped for Rebel Clash. And like I said, especially the set after Rebel Clash, um, I'm probably even more pumped for. But until then, we've still got uh, some cards to get in Sword and Shield. Uh, ooh, Colossal. Very cool holographic card. I like that. It's cool artwork. Um, but we do still have some cards to get in Sword and Shield, so we're going to be doing that. Like I said, I've also got a Burning Shadows booster box that we'll be getting through. Um, try to, since we got screwed over by our mail day with that charizard i have an entire booster box maybe we can get it's very unlikely but maybe we can get our own burning shadows charizard Ooh, hatterene very cool holographic card i like on the japanese cards how it's on the border too like i wish american cards would do that because i think that's super cool it makes the holographics feel more special uh but if you missed the bail day video we got screwed over by charizard um the hyper rare Charizard out of Burning Shadows is the last Charizard that I do not own from Sun and Moon. And I would like to have all of the Sun and Moon Charizards graded. That's something that I would love to kind of have on display. That's a very weird scum tank. Not scum tank, sorry, Scovit art. Um, I would like to have all the um, Sun and Moon Charizards graded and kind of on display in my room. I think that'd be really cool. So I'm trying to get the Burning Shadows one. Um, we won one on eBay, and it turned out to be fake and damaged and all sorts of stuff. We got screwed. Be careful on eBay. If you missed that video, go check that out for how to spot fake cards and fight people on eBay. Um, but we'll have a Burning Shadows box, so hopefully get through. That opened up significantly easier. We're getting pretty close to the end on these packs, guys. We're getting close. Um, this is going pretty quickly because there are so few cards in here. And we haven't really been naming the cards. I've kind of just been talking. <gasps> we got it! We got the Giovanni! No way! Dude, this is the card! This is the card! <laughs> last I checked, this thing was like a hundred bucks. This thing was like a hundred bucks last time I checked. And I'm gonna check. I don't know if it still is, but if it is, oh my gosh. 
That is the card I've been talking about. No way. <laughs> we got the... I think it's called Boss's Order, but the Giovanni card. We got it, bro. Full art. No way. That thing looks sick, bro. That's such a cool card. I can't believe we pulled that. Last I checked, uh, like this thing is worth a lot of money. So I'll check that and it'll probably be on the thing. I can't believe we pulled that. It may not be anymore and I'm freaking out over nothing, but that card looks incredible. And I think this is one of the biggest like chase cards you can get in the set. That's awesome. That's really cool. Oh, that's so awesome. This is, please guys, if you are new here, please subscribe, hit that like button for stuff like that. That is so exciting. Oh, I'm so glad that I bought this box. Uh, that's really cool. We're getting some really incredible pulls out of this. I'm not sure what the normal pull rates are um, for Japanese boxes, but uh, I think we're doing pretty dang well. Uh, Electrovire and Dragapult V. I said I wanted to at least get the Dragapult V if we weren't going to get the VMAX, and we do just that. That's such cool art. I love Dragapult so much. Uh, the V Max looks even cooler than this, but I love that you can see the two Dreepies. Um, the Hyper Rare too. Like that's probably the card I want the most out of Rebel Clash is the Dragapult. The Hyper Rare Dragapult V Max uh, is probably the card I really want just because I love Dragapult so much. Very, very cool. Dude, we are killing it with this Japanese booster box. Uh, we may do this more, not, we're not going to do it often by any stretch of the imagination, but if there's a set coming out that I'm excited about, we may do this more often as far as like just when new sets are coming out. Cause that's, this is cool. I'm enjoying this. I hope you guys are enjoying this too. I said getting a peek at the new set. Um, it's kind of weird not having rares, but we're getting some just awesome pulls out of this box. So I'm really excited for that. I said, I, I can't wait to finish. Uh, Y'all already saw it on the screen, but I can't wait to look up that Giovanni card and see how much it's worth. We got something here. Ooh, uh, what's this? Eldegoss, Eldegoss V. There we go. I was trying to say Whimsicott because it looks so similar to Whimsicott. So that is a Eldegoss V. Man, we are, we've only got a couple packs left, but we've absolutely killed it with this booster box so far. Absolutely killed it, bro. Uh, two packs left, guys. Like I said, if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button. Like this video. Um, we are probably going to be doing a giveaway soon. I've never done a giveaway on my channel. That's something I'm planning to do for my subscribers. Uh, so please subscribe and get ready for that as well. I'll probably be doing, I might be waiting. Ooh, a uh, Chandelure holographic, very cool holographic card. I might wait and give away until Rebel Clash comes out for my giveaway and do a Rebel Clash uh, Elite Trainer Box. That's kind of what I'm thinking I'm going to do. So uh, get ready for that. This is our last pack, guys, but man, the pools have been nuts. We haven't gotten a Hyper Rare. Maybe we can get that out of this last pack here. But the pools have been absolutely insane so far. So let's see here if we can get some last pack magic. And we don't, but that is just fine. We did not get a hyper rare, but the pools we got were nuts. Let's go over them. Uh, Eldegoss V. We got the Dragapult V. I love this so much. I love Dragapult so much. This card, this card is absolutely incredible and I am so freaking pumped that we actually pulled this unlisted leaf. I watched his video and he went absolutely just berserk whenever he pulled this card. Uh, we got the toxicity, the phalanx, the copperage of V max and the toxicity V max, such cool cards. Um, especially these three and I'll throw Dragapult in there as well. Cause I love him. But these three, man, very, very cool. Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed our first ever Japanese opening on the channel. I This was a ton of fun. So I hope you guys, I loved it. I hope you guys loved it too. Let's see if we can get this video to 20 likes, guys. That would be absolutely phenomenal if you could hit that like button for 20 likes. And I'll uh, catch you guys on the next video. Later.